Hi, I'm Oshin. I'm one half of Supertop. We make Castro. It's a podcast player for iPhone. And today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the app. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Castro, this should be a good introduction to how the app works. For those of you who already use Castro, first of all, thank you very much. And second of all, there's going to be plenty of tips and tricks in here to help you get the most out of the app. So stay tuned for those. Now, there is a huge variety of great podcasts out there. Castro is designed from the ground up to help you expand your listening habits and track a broad range of shows without getting overwhelmed. Now, to do that, it introduces triage for podcasts, and this is based largely around the inbox and the queue, two of the main screens in Castro. The inbox is where new episodes of shows you subscribe to land by default. And the queue is where you organize exactly what you want to listen to. Now I'm going to jump straight into Inbox, so let's get started. So here's Inbox. You can see here a list of episodes that have come in recently. They're broken down by date, so I have today's episodes at the top, yesterday's below, and it goes on like that. If I tap an episode, I see the actions that are available. I can either play this episode right now, these buttons in the middle allow me to add it to my queue. I could either add it right to the top, or down to the bottom of the queue, depending on how important that episode is and when exactly I want to listen to it. Archive allows me to just remove an episode from the inbox without adding it to my queue if it's one that I'm not interested in right now. So let's go through and process a few of these. I'm going to add this to the queue at the top. Now watch what happens when I tap a button. It does a little animation down into the queue button in the tab bar just to show me exactly where it's gone. For the sake of completion, I'm just going to archive this one and you'll see that that animates down into the archive tab. You can continue like this processing episodes. And what's handy is that as you decide whether you want to queue or archive an episode, the next one always scrolls right up into view and the actions expand on it. You don't need to move your finger. You can just leave your finger around the same area of the screen and continue making decisions as to whether you want to queue or archive episodes. This makes it really easy to process the episodes in your inbox and it's actually a lot easier than doing multiple swipe gestures over and over again because the buttons just slide up right into the area underneath your finger and you just tap whether you want to add it to your queue or whether you want to archive it. If there isn't quite enough information available on the episode and you're not sure yet whether you want to listen to it, here's one for example with a very short description, you can tap the arrow on the right and this will load in the full show notes. Now you see here much more details about the episode and based on that I can decide that that sounds interesting I'm going to add that to my queue. Now I'm back in my inbox I've picked out a few episodes I definitely want to listen to. Some users prefer to leave these other episodes in their inbox in case they want to come back to them later. I subscribe to a lot of shows so usually if I don't decide up front that I'm interested in the episode I like to just archive them away and I know I can go back to them later but I, I want to keep my inbox cleared. So. To make this easy, we have an archive all button up in the top right. So once I've chosen the episodes I want, I can tap that button and you can see all those artworks animate down into the archive tab to show me that they're still available in my archive, but they're not in my inbox anymore. So I can leave my inbox nice and empty and waiting for more new content to come in. If you ever accidentally archived everything by tapping that button, you can see that it changes into an undo button. So you can tap that and the episodes will come right back. So that just makes it easy to make sure you don't make mistakes. I'm going to archive them all again, and I'm going to jump over to the queue and show you some features there. So here in the queue, you can see a list of all the episodes that I've queued up. These are in the order that they're going to play back. Now I can rearrange this at any time, and I don't have to go into a special mode to do so. I can just tap on the right hand side of the cell and drag the episodes around into whatever order I specifically want to listen them in. We can tap episodes in the queue to perform actions on them as well. Some of these will be familiar from the inbox. I can play the episode immediately, archive it if I want to remove it from my queue. I can star it if it's an episode that's I think is particularly great. And you'll also see on the icons in the queue here, those little arrows on the bottom corner of the artwork indicate that that episode is downloaded and is available for playback offline. Castro has automatic download features for episodes that are in your queue. I'll talk about them a little bit more later and go into the settings there. But the most important thing to remember is that you don't have to worry about downloads. Castro is going to take care of that for you. From anywhere in the app, I can tap a podcast artwork and that's going to push on the screen for that podcast. Here I have a list of every episode in this podcast. At the top of the screen, you can see that I can filter them down to these are episodes that are currently queued. 
two of my favorite pod episodes of this podcast and here's every episode of the podcast that i've listened to so that's very handy if you need to jump back and find a specific episode to get back you can see that i'm able to just put my finger anywhere on the screen and begin swiping back i don't need to go to the edge of the screen and i don't need to tap the button at the top left but if i'm used to doing those actions they will work of course but castro has sloppy swiping to make it very easy to use the app with one hand and navigate around the app with ease one other little feature that i'll show you to help you get around the app is say if i'm pushed on here and even if i'm pushed on to another show notes screen for example if I want to jump back to my queue at any stage, I can just tap the queue button again at the bottom left, and I'm right back into the queue. And if I tap it again, it's gonna push me right up to the top of the queue, and that'll work for any of these tabs. Um, I'm already at the top of the queue, so if I tap it again, it's just gonna do that little animation just to show you, hey, we got you, you're where, you're where you're supposed to be. Now we're gonna tap over to the archive tab and see what's in there. Now this is where the back catalogs of all your podcasts live. You can tap into any show to see every episode that's listed there. There's also these two other sections at the top that I'm going to go into in a little bit more detail. So first of all, starred. By tapping in here, you can find every episode that you've listened to that you've marked as being one of your favorites. This is really good when you meet a friend and you want to recommend a podcast episode to them. You can just look in here, see which, what you've listened to recently that you thought was great. And it's really good for recommending episodes that way, or even for going back yourself to re-listen to episodes that you really enjoyed. Now along the top here, you'll see that there's another filter bar. This time it, it is filtered by podcast and it's ordered by which podcast you have the most favorite episodes from. So it's very easy here to see that I'm a big fan of 99% Invisible. And if I want to jump in there, then I can just see all my favorite episodes of 99% Invisible right here on one screen. And there's also history. So I'm going to tap in here. And this, is, this shows you a list of every podcast episode that you've listened to in Castro. And this is great for jumping back and finding that episode that you listened to last week that you can't quite remember exactly what it was. But you'll find it here and you'll be able to queue it back up again or do exactly whatever you need to do with that episode. Very easy to find episodes from your past and keep track of how you've been using Castro and what podcasts you've been listening to a lot. And the final tab along the bottom here is the Discover tab. You'll see, first of all, a list of different categories. So you want to find podcasts this way. You choose a category that interests you. Let's say music. You tap in here and you're going to find a list of very popular music podcasts. So this is a great way to find new shows. Tap in Song Exploder. I don't know how I wasn't already subscribed to that, but let's remedy that. When you subscribe to a show, you can choose exactly what you want to happen when new episodes come out. By default, it's going to go in the inbox, like I showed you earlier. But if there's shows that you know you definitely want to listen to every episode of, you can choose one of these other options. So Song Exploder, I know, is great. I'm going to queue next every single episode of that. You can change this setting at any time. So say if you go into the archive here, let's choose 99% Invisible. Tap this podcast settings button in the top right. I figured that was going to be set to QNX as well. It's another big favorite of mine. If I wanted, I could switch that back to add to inbox, but I'm going to leave it on QNX for now. I just want to also explain this, the last option here, which is archive. This is great for shows where the fact that there's a new episode out isn't really that important to you because, for example, maybe you're listening to it from the first episode forward. And if there's a new episode out, it's not important to you until you have caught up with the back catalog. So for those ones, you can just set them to archive New episodes will come in automatically. They'll be there when you want them later, but you don't have to worry about them the day they come out. So back in the Discover tab, I'm going to go back up to the top and tap into the search bar here. Now this is how you can find any show that you already know the name of that you want to subscribe to. You can search by the name of the show, by the author, even for example by the podcast network. So I'm going to do a search here for Relay. And here's a list of all the great shows that Relay FM have. Um, and that's a great way to find the podcasts that you need and subscribe to them very easily. And you tap into a particular podcast. I'm just going to show you a little bit more detail about this podcast summary view. So you have some information about the podcast at the top, the artwork, you can subscribe to it. Now we filtered this list down a bit because usually when you subscribe to a new show, you're either most interested in the new episode, which we have right here at the top, or the oldest episode if you wanted to listen from the start. 
So we show you both those episodes right here on the one screen. And if there are other episodes that you want, you can tap here in the middle, expand that out, and then you have every episode. And episodes that are in this list, you can deal with them just exactly as you would other episodes. You don't necessarily have to subscribe to a show if you don't want. If there was a particular episode that you were interested in, let's see this WWDC episode, you expand it and you can add that to your queue just as easily as any other episode. You can also paste URLs into the search bar right here at the top. Um, now this could be the feed for a podcast, it could be a link from iTunes, it even works with links from Overcast or from Pocket Cast. So for example, I'm going to paste this URL that I have on my clipboard here. It's a link from Overcast to our podcast, the Super Top Podcast. And you'll see that the server finds that podcast and pushes it down. And from here, you'll be able to go in and find any episodes of it that you want. So that's the four tab bar icons. Now let's talk about the other icons down below. This is the now playing bar. So from here, it's very easy to play and pause the episode, skip forward or back in the timeline. You can tap the episode artwork here to push on the show notes. And you can tap at the left side of the bar to expand out the play controls and see every control that's available to you. Now this expanded player control screen is designed so that anything that you need to do with the now playing episode is available right here on this screen. You don't need to push on another extra screen to do other settings. They're all just right here on the one screen. So let's go through what's here. Again, you have the play pause buttons and the skip buttons. A little bit of information about the episode here. Down below here you have the scrubber. And Castro Scrubber is quite interesting. I'm going to go into it in a little bit more detail to show you how easy it is to jump broadly within an episode or to a specific point. So let's say you grab the thumb of the scrubber here. Now you can move back and forth in the episode right from the start of the episode to near the end of the, to the end of the episode in one swipe. You just move it back and forth over the timeline like that. But if you want to do some a more fine-grained control, instead of grabbing the thumb, you can just grab the waveform that's underneath. And this gives you much finer control so that you can jump right to the exact point that you want in the episode. The other controls on the screen are perhaps pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through them a little bit. You have the sleep timer here. Decide how many minutes. After that many minutes of playback, the podcast is going to pause and you won't reach the end of it while you're fast asleep. Down here we have the playback speed bar. So you can choose whichever speed you want the episode to play at, depending on the content and how fast you want to get through it. And we have two toggles here for enhanced audio and continuous play. Enhanced audio is going to improve the sound quality of podcasts that may be recorded at, let's just say, less than perfect, in less than perfect conditions. So for example, it'll boost the volume but it will also normalize the volume across different speakers so that if one speaker, for example, is speaking really loud and another is very quiet, it'll just use an equalizer to balance out the audio across the whole episode and improve your listening experience in that way. And continuous play is a toggle that just dictates whether when we finish this current episode, will we start playing the next episode immediately or will we just leave that in the player ready for you to come back later and press play. And the final thing to show you on this screen is the share button up right here in the top right. This will bring up the iOS share sheet from where you can share a link of that episode using whichever app uh, you prefer. And one feature that you can also do is if you wanted to share a specific timestamp, you can tap the button at the bottom of the bar there and this will pop up a new share sheet with the timestamp included. So when you share that link to somebody, they'll be able to pick up right from the exact spot where somebody said that very interesting thing that you wanted to, them to listen to. And finally, I'm gonna jump in here to the settings screen and just show you a couple of things in here. It's not a screen that you'll have to go to very often in the app, but it is a place where you can come and fine grain, have fine grain control over the experience, just make the app work exactly the way you want it to work. One area I want to show you is the download settings. So within the download settings, you can decide whether you want Castro to automatically download episodes that are in your queue or not. You can decide whether you want us to use cellular for downloads or if you prefer if we only use Wi-Fi. And you can decide how much of your queue you want us to keep downloaded. And this is measured in hours rather than in megabytes or in numbers of episodes. Because we think that what's important is to focus on the content and how much content you want to have available when you're offline. 
This can vary from five hours up to completely unlimited, in which case we will just download every episode in your queue as long as there's room on your phone. Now, one other setting that I want to show you in here is the night mode setting. So in night mode, we'll use a much darker color palette to allow you to comfortably use the app at night. You'll see that little animation that happens when I toggle between the modes. That's a little indication just to show you that there is this gesture that you can do from anywhere in the app with two fingers, swipe up and down on the screen, and we'll transition smoothly from night to day mode, depending on which you prefer at whatever time. And finally, I'm just going to jump in here to import subscriptions. If you decide you want to give Castro a try, we're betting that you probably already have listened to podcasts in some other apps first. So we want to make it very easy for anybody to move their subscriptions over to Castro and pick up from where they left off. So on this screen, you'll find instructions for any app that you have installed on your phone to help you move your podcasts over from that app into Castro. I'm just going to show you briefly how to move app subscriptions over from Castro 1, which is an older version of Castro from a few years ago. I tap this button, Castro 1 pops up the share sheet, tap copy to Castro. That jumps us back over here. And now this part of the import flow is the same regardless of whatever app you've come from. We list all the subscriptions that we found from the other app. And you can decide on an individual podcast basis whether that's one you definitely want to import or not. I don't really want to deselect any of these, but for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just going to deselect a few of these to show you that if there's podcasts that you're not that interested in anymore at, while you're getting set up in the new Castro, instead, you can just deselect them here, tap subscribe, and that's going to pull in all those feeds into your app. I think that's about it for today's walkthrough. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to come back soon. We're going to have some more videos about Castro. We're going to go into a bit more detail about some of the different design decisions and the thought process behind some of the features of the app. If you haven't tried Castro yet, get it on the App Store. I'm going to find a way to put a link here. I'm very new on YouTube, so it might be there. Thank you guys for watching and stay cool super top super top super top super top super super top super 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 top super top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 top super 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 super